Most of these things that she's talking about came about, I think, somewhere around last year. Yeah. Getting to the latter part of last year, I think there was a huge rush yeah. to take over government bungalows, government lands, all over. That explains why today you go to continents and go to reach, and we cannot even get the land to even put up structures to even house our civil servants. Our civil servants at a time were even told from, from some of the Civil Servant Association that some of the executives came out that they went and they were told that they should go and leave uh, is it, uh, <laughs> Michelle Camp and some other place else. because we are breaking down all their buildings and we are selling them out. So if you come to, to realize that most of these things were being taken over from the latter part of last year, this belongs to the Department of Rural Housing under the Ministry of Water Resources, for example, and we've given it as a, a, you know, a trust to the um, Lands Commission to take care of the land for us. So if we have to even part away with any of our government lands, maybe we will sit down, we will have to come and then we discuss. Probably we want to use it for another government institution. Now we want the land to be building for our, our people and we don't even have the land to, to put our buildings for them. And the government land that is there, we are cutting them for private, you know, people to come and build these huge buildings or whatever it is. For. So that, 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 that is, that is the, the state where we are. I think she brought the documents and I'm sure that I know the Honorable Ministers will continue to get the last permission. Authority. Okay, that's that. that, that, that but this, this is government. Yes, this is government. Yes. This one is this uh, huge thing. This huge thing. Actually, the land was sitting one of our research buildings, where we researched on the soil, mixed it with a chemical, and we want to know. I think know, it's good that we should capture this fact. We want to know the number of years that this uh, material would take housing uh, the uh, human being or whatever. We were here and a letter was brought by one Mr. Coleman, that is the husband of the late Mrs. Coleman, the parliamentarian, that Lands Commission has given him an entry into this land. So we, they are coming to uh, evaluate to, um, the land and then take over, uh, I mean, they distract us and they take over the land. So we, we, we objected, actually, we wrote to them to tell them that we have structures that are research. We have the France Critel. They come in to do an observation and then advise even on the material and other things. They wrote back to tell us that, irrespective of whatever we are saying, the land has been given to Lands Commission. So 
those of ours have been uh, broken down the research down. center, the research center doing and then one, research into one which was in the TNG. These are TNG structures that we yeah. more local materials in building. So now you see if we had a research center here and the husband of the former um, member the of parliament for... used to even bring the cost of building down. Irrespective of the um, protest that came from the department, he said it's been given to him. And then he took it and sold it out to Chinese people. So it, we don't know whatever is going up here, but for all we know, for this building, it has nothing to do with the research mm. that the department should have been doing. And even if you decide to break down the research center, did you give them an alternative <laughs> research center? The buildings they had put up with the materials to read through the number of years so mm. that they could come for a resource. Now everything has gone to waste. This is the kind of thing that some people presided over. And this is the kind of things that were welcomed by, 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 by some, some, some people. And I think that um, I know that the Honorable Minister is working on the documentations that she brought, where um, I think you have properties where apparently instead of the, the, those supports or the, those that the properties have been given to, are supposed it's to sign before, before the, 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 the last commissioner uh, signs. signs. They haven't, they haven't signed. The owners haven't signed, but land commissioner has signed. It's yeah. like giving a final um, um, authority. So anybody at all could fill in that space. It was blanket. <laughs> and then it, it goes to another person instead of the people who are supposed to have No, it. no, no. In fact, no. This what this is our land. This is the land of Department of Rural Housing. You've realized how they've broken down um, the research centers. The research things that they put in place, the materials that they had developed and used and building, and waiting and counting years. You should all know that research it takes a number of years for you to say, okay, this building is durable. This material is good. We can use it for AYZ. Now, after so many years of waiting, investing in that, they've come and they've broken everything down. And, and the one who came for it has gone to work and even sold it to Chinese um, 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 company. company or whatever, in fact, to a private company. And this is supposed to be for the Department of Rural Housing. Three hundred mil. And so she beheld and took to her hands.
In fact, this this same year, oh, nothing here. The contractor ran to the ministry because after the, the, the money was paid, they claimed they sold this place to who? Mr. Wafo. So all that we're asking was that they should just allow us to work. Because they know very, very well that we're doing a lot to stem us up in course. This place, as late as, or, or let's say just around the corner, this year, August, ESL came and did assessment. The whole place was in a mess. We had already come around. We had seen the apparent contract that was given. A contractor has been awarded. 96, 960 million has been paid. And it looks like, and I want him to come and clarify this for me. I think a year after they said they've sold this bank. So after a, a, support, a supposed renovation and money's paid already. So when we came in, and then it started airing. I think ASL came in to come and make an assessment of the bungalow. And quickly, now the, the whole place is turning to a Cinderella castle. But ask the contractor, it was given to him 2007 to renovate. I think I'll get the name and everything, but have it. Welcome bungalows now. For this, yeah, yeah. plus one billion. Yeah. And now, for this. exactly, that is what I'm saying. So that when the when the when today the Bimbla MP is asking us, meeting I make us say the Bimbla MP is asking us. El Kachay and say this is two bedroom. El Kachay and say, well, your civil works are your forty six, and now finishing twenty five thousand. Oka boys, I think about seventy two. On the average, and no one interested, come here, baby, I'm meeting what it wasn't finished. And about three or four bungalows were not finished. But apart from the curtains, I mean, where the curtains are not finished. Oh, my God, I'm not going to be a man, I'm not going to be a man. The rest of them, nothing, air condition, be a man. We will not give names of ministers who ask them to do. They are not going to be a man. They are going to be a man. So I want to give you one more. You don't say. So this is why the call for the prayer session. This is why the prayer session can do a lot, especially when you are asking God to intervene. I think God is not in this kind of It does not matter the day they pray or not. We pray on Friday and then the Christian people are standing. So we 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 have to believe. We have to take that every one day. Finally, national insurance will go up by a
Don't be here alone. Sometimes they take them to the official school. I want to go and see the way the caretaker is living there. Okay, we'll Taking that. care of the place. Taking that care of the place. Do you do that? Sir. No, but if I was a private developer, I would make sure that on completion of the house, the owner occupies it. Not the owner no. occupying it. No, I'm saying that the estate developers, those who develop the bank, the, the housing for sale. Yes. Okay? It's your business. You go into it. Exactly. We have people who do that. Yes. You build a house. And then, you know, it's not because I've given you money to do it. It's not the owner. That's what I'm saying. You're a private developer. I didn't say a private contractor that I'll come and give you a contract to build my house for me. Okay. But I'm talking. I thought we were talking. But I realized your mind was there. Thank you. So, um, you build your house for somebody to come and buy with your money. Would you have kept a private or uh, caretaker in for the person to take care of? Okay, which means that you're not supposed to do that because you think the money came from the castle. So Ooh. make sure. I think it was a mistake which our colleagues made by writing the name, the receipt in the name of the person who brought oh, okay. But ideally, it, 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 it should have brought the, the name of the okay. office. Because okay. so the moment it bears the name of the office of the president, it will just be yes. straightforward. Yes. 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 can put your know, people yes. inside. You are right. So now, how do you solve this? So, how is it being corrected? Well, uh, we have been instructed by the Security Council Secretariat to the register the person, the person, the person yes, to register all these houses in the name of the National Security Council Secretariat. And this is exactly what we have done, including the ones that have already been given up, covered, that has received covering. You know, all, the the houses. Houses. all the twin all the twin five houses, all yeah, those twin all the twin five houses. houses. Yes. Okay. So then, then what do you do with the request to court that the receipt is in their name and then they have to say 
But, but we all know the money did not come per se. But they have in the name of Allah. Allah. Yeah, it was a mistake. I, I don't know whether I should say it. But the Deputy, who was a contact person? Uh -huh. But today we know. Today we all know that yes. the money came from the state. Yes. Tomorrow you and I are not there. Yes. And somebody springs up that receipt on yes. the state yes. that I bought this building. But I'm thinking here that um, with the national security coming in, um, we all believe that at the end of the day, things will be normal. Now he's made it clear to us that um, it was public funds, government money, that an individual bought and receipts were given to the individual in his name and not in the name of the office or in the name of the state. So I think probably some of these discrepancies, that's what might have informed the national security to come in. I'm sure that by the time that the national security finishes with all its activities, things should come to and then, um, let the people know, because then we realize that when you keep quiet too much, it doesn't work too well. <laughs> Of all um, I think we, where did we even start? We started by going to Okonglo, passing through, uh, through Cantomets, and, now, and, we we, and now we are here. The whole idea about um, this runs that we, we went, it was first to ascertain for ourselves as a ministry what is happening with um, the lands or some of the properties of our ministry and we also the, the stand of encroachment on the lands of the um, department of rural housing we even saw the place where our research center you know has been demolished and the place sold to a private uh, investor all this boils down to the way we manage government properties We've realized the houses, um, number two is Circular Road, where 96,000 Ghana cities, that's 960 million OCDs was paid to a contractor, and the name is not coming off my head right now, 2007. And as at 2009, when we went for inspection, nothing had been done. And somehow today, we went there, we were informed by the caretaker that about four or five months back, even after a years, ASL had gone to do an assessment of the building, the contractor all of a sudden resurfaced and uh, mobilized himself back to uh, the project site. We are yet to find out who asked him to go back, and we are yet to find out from him what happened when he took the 96,960 million old Ghana cities to renovate the two-bedroom bungalow at um, Circular Road. What happened with the money at that time and where was he that he had to only resurface after we went there and then he had the concern. Now we've come to this place. This is a project that um, initially was, or it, it was started somewhere 2007. Initially it was, an application was made from the office of the former president, President uh, Kofo, and <clears throat> the chief of staff, the then chief of staff, for 20 units of these bungalows. Then later, 25. no, first it was 20, okay. then later they were asked to add 25 to it. Wow. And we are informed, or we are told that all payments were made through um, General, General retired uh, brigadier, General I think he's retired General Befi, who happened to be at the time, I don't know whether he still is, board member of um, State Housing Corporation. And um, 
the other side of it that you know we are all trying to find out that why the receipt was written in his name what was the purpose behind it and he uh, general um, brigadier Beffy himself also brought a list to them to the um, state housing to make allocations to these names in fact state housing Corporation is a part, an arm, or part of the body, the whole body of Ministry of Water Resources, Works and Housing. So if the government, the then government, the then NPP government, wanted to do this project, you could have gone through the ministry and even make payments through the ministry to the department. Why do you have to use even the brigadier? So that even receipts have been written in his name. And then he goes to work and bring the list of names for these houses to be allocated to them. We thank God that the National Security came in and we are sure that they are doing due diligence and those who are, have to be called, they will be called and they will have to account for them. But the truth of the matter is if even if even anyone has received an allocation letter, we are going to see it is that it's revoked. We are not going to hold on to that and the proper thing will be done. We see to have to reverse back into the name of the state because that was state money. It wasn't personal money from anybody. You know, if we are not careful, at times we try to go, yes, we can take people on. But you see, when so much has been destroyed and you, you waste your time, you know, in, in, in talking about it, you lose focus, you even lose energy and you lose your time. That's what we've been trying to do all this while. But yes, a lot has gone into government bungalows a lot has been said, a lot has been done. Now we will get a report from our, from our in, um, investigative officers and then the necessary actions will be taken. The necessary department, the state department that we are supposed, security departments that we are supposed to use, we use all of them. If, if it has to be the Attorney General's office, if it's S SFO, if it's BNI, if it's national security, we will use all the national or state apparatus that we have at our disposal to bring those who are supposed to be brought to book to book. Yeah. So, and it was in a total mess. Now you have to ask yourself whether renovations were done or we deliberate or people deliberate run down the, the bungalows so that I could go back one day and go and claim that we should sell the bungalows to, to us because those bungalows have been run down. So these are all some of the things that we are going to fix. For some of those, we fix them. And for the rest that are left, we are going to fix and, the, uh, and those who will be found culpable will be brought to of renting homes, they will be lining up at government institutions and applying to be caretakers of government houses because you can bring everything in, put your curtains, your bags, we saw four or five bags, change and keys. bed, everything oh. beautiful, you understand, and even go to work and change locks as we saw down here. These are some of the things that we have to really guard ourselves against. If not, very soon, even um, His Excellency may be in his house and somebody walk in there and say, you know, I want to come and perch somewhere. Okay, take because up. that is the level of, uh, you know, lawlessness that is creeping into the government properties. We all have to protect these government properties. The on onus is on all of us, not just even government. All of us are citizens. And you, the media, who can be better partners than you? We need you now more than ever. Even when you pass where Honorable Alan Chamantin lives, it was Alan Chamantin. Yeah, yeah, where, where Honorable Alan Chamantin used to live, the place had been divided and part has been sold out to some private person. As at, I don't know whether, whether it was May or June when we went to visit, that place was not being developed. And now we've seen about three buildings that have been erected. Others have been given from the office of the president that we should support all kind of minister of state who is building up there. And it's, they stop and then it will go up a, a little bit and then they'll continue. Now it's going very, very fast. That is, you know, um, disobeying even the orders from the office of the president. I think some of these things we need national security and all the apparatus that will have to come in and enforce them.